Bitcoin. I think our users are not too dissimilar with many Bitcoin users that are in it for you know um, speculation, investment purposes. Um, everyone has seen the rise of the price of Bitcoin, and obviously that impacts uh, purchasing decisions of Bitcoin quite a bit. Um, but I think we're getting to the stage of maturity where people are saying, well, I do have Bitcoin or I just bought Bitcoin. What do I do with my Bitcoin? Um, right now, the consumer experience doesn't feel as tailored or as refined as it should be. So what we're doing is we're introducing a members only program that gives you special perks um, such as, you know, latest access to all our new apps, um, a Bitcoin FPOS card, uh, which you can use at any retailer or even get cash out of the ATM. So part of, you know, creating a consumer service is creating useful tools like that for you allow you to access your Bitcoin anywhere. Um, I think businesses and entrepreneurs have a very large role to play in this. Uh, we're here to evidence that, hey, um, this technology can be used in multiple ways. Um, there's a lot of good benefits that can be get up, got, uh, got out of Bitcoin. And also looking at you know, innovative ways to leverage tech technology against uh, you know, the current financial system to show that you know, we can exist in parallel and that certain things we can do better and you know, hopefully we can work together to sort of advance finance all together. One of the interests of venture capitalists right now is you know, uh, Bitcoin decentralized networks and how that will you know, affect everything. So people are looking past it just as a currency, looking at the technological benefits of it, looking at how we can you know, remove middlemen in a whole wide range of industries. So I think it, it goes beyond just the currency or financial implications of it, but you know, um, the technology and see how it can benefit everyone. Oh,